While we're on the topic of Spider-Man No Way Home, I'd like to talk about one of my favorite moments from the film, the mid credit scene. Before we dive into the mid credit scene, we have to talk about the working relationship between Marvel Studios and Sony. As most of you know, Marvel Studios is working with Sony on these MCU Spider-Man movies. Sony is putting up most of the money and Marvel is handling pretty much all of the creative. In September 2019, after a brief breakdown in contract negotiations, Sony and Disney announced a deal that would allow Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige to produce another Spider-Man film for Sony along with Amy Pascal, keeping Spider-Man in the MCU. After the deal was finalized, Kevin Feige said the MCU Spider-Man would be able to cross cinematic universes and appear in Sony's own shared universe. It was this comment that made me believe Spider-Man would be trapped in Sony's Venomverse at the end of No Way Home, but thankfully that did not happen. Okay, so what does this have to do with the mid credit scene? Well, if you watch Sony's Venom, Let There Be Carnage, I will let you eat everybody! Promise! I promise! Oh yeah! Bless your heart. You know that there's an end credit scene where it appears Venom gets transported into the MCU. This scared the hell out of me. Guys, in my opinion, Sony's Venom movies are, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, oh yeah, that's right, bad. I think they stink. I do not want the Sony shared universe to mix with the MCU. Sorry, I don't trust Sony when it comes to live action Marvel. So you can imagine my horror when I saw Tom Hardy's Venom lick a TV screen showing Tom Holland. To me, this meant that Sony must have twisted Kevin Feige's arm. This must have been a stipulation in the New Deal. In order for Marvel to keep producing Spider-Man movies and receive a higher percentage of the profits, they had to tie in Sony's shared comic universe. I am Venom. Oh, I'm just kidding, it's Dr. Michael Morbius. Something they have no creative control over and do not want. Well, friends, after watching the No Way Home mid credit scene, I think Marvel and Sony reached a compromise that I can stomach. So when the scene starts, you see Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock sitting in a bar trying to understand the MCU. He can hardly believe how many superheroes they are. The bartender tells him about the Avengers while he's drunk. It's really stupid. Just as I started to roll my eyes, Doctor Strange's spell kicks in and sends Eddie and Venom back to their own universe. Kevin Feige said, get that shit out of here. Okay guys, so this is what I think is going on here. Marvel Studios is making what I call the Venomverse, one of the many universes in the greater MCU multiverse. That's the compromise. Marvel is saying, we'll bring your nonsense into the MCU, but it will stay in its own universe. That's what the mid credit scene is confirming. Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock is a part of the greater MCU multiverse, but it will not affect the main MCU storyline. It won't even exist within the prime MCU universe. Crisis averted. This is fine. I can deal with this. It's all in the same multiverse, but not really connected. So what are the confirmed live action universes that we know of in the MCU? We have the Sam Raimi Spider-Man universe. We have the Mark Webb Spider-Man universe. We have the Venomverse. And of course we have the prime MCU universe, the one that actually matters. I'm predicting that during the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, we will find out that the X-Men Fox universe is also a part of the MCU multiverse. That movie is going to be crazy. Another thing I thought was smart a portion of the Venom symbiote is left behind. It's a quick way to get Venom in the MCU without it coming from space, the way it's typically introduced. This allows Marvel to have their own take on Venom, free of Sony's garbage. It'll be interesting to see what they come up with. Agent Venom? Who knows? Okay, that's all I have for this video, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. What were your thoughts on Venom and the mid credit scene? Talk to you later.